finished both halves. We finished the first half well, we finished the second half well. Started out a little slow. Uh, I thought SMU really played well. They made a lot of tough shots. A little disappointed in our field goal percentage defense. Um, uh, but besides that, I was pretty happy uh, for the most part all night. Uh, I thought we had a lot of guys obviously slowing and, and D. Rowe stepped up. Uh, D. Rowe really stepped up when it was a four point game. He kind of took over, whether it was in transition or getting in the foul line. I uh, ran a couple plays for him uh, and just used his speed. So um, all in all, to go on the road, even though it was probably 50-50 crowd or maybe a little bit more A&M, it, it was a big time atmosphere and this early in the year to handle it the way we did, I was, I was pretty proud of our guys. Is that what you're going to need from Roland more this year, that offensive spurt? And well, that was nice. That was nice. We, you know, we have a, a few guys. BJ has banged up. He, he bruised his thigh pretty well. We weren't sure he was going to play. so. I know he hit some shots early, um, but we, we were, he wasn't able, especially against a man, to do things against his own. He could do things. So, and our two freshmen are, are, are not, can't hit a shot right now. So, yeah, D. Rowe has to, has to step up. But, uh, you know, I, I think we've got a group in there late with uh, D. Rowe, Sloan, uh, Dash, um, uh, Nate, and David LeBeau that really just kind of changed the game. And uh, D. Rowe was a big part of it. I know they were excited to come home and play. They play. They play here in the summer, so they know they know those guys pretty well. And um, but I, I was happy. I was happy for those guys. I wish it would have went a little bit better for Brian, um, but because uh, he's pretty important to us. But David did a good job uh, taking his minutes. And I guess that's something else to watch this season. I mean, when Brian gets in foul trouble, what do you go to in the in the paint? Well, David. David does a good job, and um, we do a good job of helping. We played great team defense. It didn't show at times tonight in transition, but when they were in their sets or in the half court, I thought we did a really nice job for the most part of team defense. So we, we helped each other out. They're pretty guard oriented. Be a little bit different in the, in the 12 probably when they're trying to post it up, but we'll figure it out. There's different ways to play defense. And tonight we had to really concentrate on the perimeter guys. And I thought we did, for the most part, a pretty good job. How do you grade a Brian and David against their post players first time to be able to play a tandem of that size? Yeah, I, I thought we were fine. I thought Brian was great until he started fouling. And just same stuff he's been doing for four years. Just, you know, of course, he doesn't think it's a foul, but um, uh, just not very smart. Two, two in the backcourt, I believe. And, and uh, no, I thought our post guys were good. Once they settled down, I, we had a cool attitude at the start. Maybe we were nervous. I don't know. But once we settled down, I thought our post guys did a better job inside. And, We, my whole thing is just getting the guys to share the ball and screen and move and run our stuff. Because when they do that, we're pretty good. But we, we had a 12, 13-point lead start of the second half, and we just kind of went into cruise control and offense, got a little selfish, and we let them get back in the game. Or it really might not have been a game because we just could have, during that stretch, played the way we could have. Was this home and away anything to do with the, the three seniors that you have um, being from Dallas? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at a and I don't have to come to SMU, second game of the year. But I like Matt. I think Matt's going to get it going here this season. I think they have a nice team. They missed, uh, I want to say his name wrong, Neil Condi. They missed him tonight. He's a, he's a good player for them. They can stretch you a little bit more. Um, so we got, we got a good break there. But no, we, we wanted to get the seniors home and, um, uh, and, and play here because, uh, you know, Big 12 doesn't, hasn't had the tournament in Dallas for a while. Um, so we wanted to get them home. That's why we did it. Just briefly, what improvements have you, did you see from SMU tonight compared to last year? Uh, well, I, uh, Muhammad Faye was just coming off sitting out last year when we played him. And uh, he gives him a great dimension at the four. It's a pretty tough guard with him there. Uh, you know, the guards are fantastic. Um, McCoy is really good. He's as good as, you know, any guard will play um, at time. He just, he was phenomenal tonight. So I think they're a little bit deeper. Um, I think they're, uh, I, I like what they're trying to run. Uh, it it, it it's, it's keeps you on your heels. Um, I think the guys have bought into it uh, and what they're doing. And uh, I thought they were much more spirited, uh, much more confident uh, than when we played them last year, even though the game was closer last year at times. Uh, I think they got, I think when they get the Neocondi kid back, I know I'm saying this wrong, name wrong, I'm sorry. 
but uh, 24. Uh, when they get him back, they're going to have a nice team. You know, I was looking up the banners in, of their league, Conference USA, and I mean, if they can just get their confidence, I think it's going to be a good year for them. I think they have a chance to win a lot of games, especially here at home. I know you saw the game between now and then, but how big is this to go on the road and get a win before you take this team to Anaheim? Yeah, I think it's big. And that's kind of the thinking that we wanted to get out early and get on the road before we went there. And, you know, this game was scary for me. I mean, all those guys, especially the Texas kids, wanted to, you know, mad at me for not recruiting them or not being at A&M. And they, they know our guys. They see them on TV. And they, uh, this game was a little bit scary. There was a lot of people in the building tonight from the Dallas metro area that, uh, uh, you know, that, that we need to make a good impression on. I think we did that. So... Uh, but this was good. Uh, I thought the atmosphere was great. I thought we responded to it well. I think it will help us greatly when we go out there in about 10 days. All right, guys. Thanks. 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 How do you say it,